look at all the plushies. I'm Erin and I'm Courtney's friend who she took to the Goodwill outlet for the very first time and let me fill up a cart of items that I thought she could resell. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. <laughs>so I brought my friend to the Goodwill Benz first time here and this is what she has to say about her experience I had been to Goodwill numerous times but I'd never been to the outlets so I had no idea what to expect and so when walking in and just seeing this huge warehouse full of bins thinking oh my gosh this is gonna be so overwhelming are we gonna be able to find anything People were just scrambling. It was kind of difficult to even get a cart. We were lucky enough to each get one. Um, but we were able to you know, get to the bins and find quite a few items. I was pleasantly surprised to see that they at least had it organized enough that clothes were on one end, um, other items, which is just basically everything <laughs> random. I can't even describe what the category is. Um, but at least shoes and, and clothing were separate and I, I guess I wasn't expecting that. So I have watched quite a few Goodwill Benz videos and they are not all created equal, that is for sure. I watched one that Donna Bottolino put out. Oh my goodness, go check it out. Totally different from mine, totally different experience she had. I love our Goodwill Benz. Drop me a comment and let me know what your Goodwill Benz outlet is like. Aaron, do you like plush? There's a whole bunch of stuffed animals. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. The old one too. Oh my gosh. Love it. I don't need Rebel. I don't need her. Keep her out of my space. Oh, sorry. Here. Can you get past there? Thank you. Sorry. I, I might leave that in the video. I don't need Rebel. <laughs> She needs to stay out of my territory. I, I am trying to get her down here. That's who I thought maybe I saw someone in your car. That's oh, no. No. Okay, so you hear me talking to my friend D, and um, I met her at the Goodwill Benz, and she was a viewer of the channel, and now we've become good friends, and we always shop together when we're up there. But she was talking about the Rebel reseller, who, by the way, if you have not checked out her channel, she is amazing, and she is incredible with plush. So go and subscribe to her channel for sure, and I'm hoping to get the Rebel reseller down to Ohio to go to the Goodwill Benz with me. So if you guys would like to see that video, drop it in the comments. Come to Ohio, Rebel. All right, so I am just digging through this plush. You can see my cart is loaded up. Um, I found a spider here. I believe it's a Minecraft spider. It didn't have a tag on it. The tush tag was cut off, but I still went ahead and grabbed it. So this day, big plush like this was 99 cents. I did grab this Eeyore and I got him home and he was just a little too rough. So I ended up just donating that. Um, I did find a Lion King that I kept and it is listed in my eBay store, but check out this Ohio State football. It was a little dirty and I was like, oh, I don't wanna clean it. And in came the sniper and she sniped it from me. So here is one of the items that I picked out and um, you know, I am a big Buckeye fan, our entire household is, so pretty much anything that's Ohio State catches my eye. Um, but this one in particular I felt like was just really unique. It's obviously it's plush. It looks extremely vintage. It is pretty filthy, but I felt confident that I could get it cleaned. Um, and although I think Courtney felt confident she would be able to sell this, 
I kept it for myself. She can't get everything. Transformers? Yeah, your name. I don't know. What's the date on it? 2010, maybe? Mm, I don't know. I don't usually pick them up because they're so stinking heavy. Oh, that's true. Now, plush, I'm like... I need another part. A little... A little plush. Isn't it cute? It's a llama. Okay, so she was thinking really hard about getting this llama, and she didn't end up getting it, and I didn't get it either. I don't know why neither one of us got it, because it was super cool. If you would have got the llama, let me know in the comments. It would have been 99 cents. Like, what was I thinking? All right, I did get that plush. I also got this pillow pet. It's from the Lion King. It's Simba. I think that's Lion King, right? Um, one of those shows, movies, Disney movies. All right, if you see something that I missed, let me know in the comments. I feel like I did really well with plush on this day and just finding all kinds of things. There's a Kohl's Cares right there. I did not grab that. Let me know in the comments if you sell Kohl's Cares and if you do well with it. So we had a fantastic time. She ended up snagging that football and it is a really cool item. I did grab this Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. I do pick up any of the plush that has to do with um, that TV show um, that they put on during Christmas, the one that we all watched as a kid. And there's like uh, the snowman, the, I always say this wrong, the abominable snowman, is that how you say it? And then there's the little elephant. Well, I just listed one of the little elephants. I found it in my money pile in the garage. And oh my goodness, it's a Build-A-Bear, but it's only nine inches. Look that up. Incredible what those go for. All right, this guy right here, I did take this home with me. I think it was 99 cents and it just had like a stain on the foot and I just didn't feel like I could get it cleaned up enough to sell. So I ended up just donating that. Somebody else can probably buy it and do something with it, but I just didn't want to take the time. So there were a couple items that I picked up today that ended up getting donated, but that's okay. Sometimes it happens when I'm at the bins. I don't spend a whole lot of time looking over things. I just kind of put them in my cart and sometimes buy more than I should. Um, if you buy more than you should at the bins, let me know in the comments. This is one of those, um, I think it's from The Simpsons. Let me see. Yep, The Simpsons dog. Uh, Santa's Little Helper. And I did pick that up. He was pretty cool. Uh, he hasn't sold yet. So all of these items are available in my eBay store unless they say sold beside them. These three little frogs, I decided to make a Gans Webkins frog family. Um, those are pretty uh, saturated on the market, so I thought I would have an advantage by putting the three of them together. Uh, let me know what you guys think about that. So Erin and I had a great time. Again, there is a video of all of the items that she sourced for me. I will put that down in the comments. If you missed it, definitely check it out. I have already sold quite a few of the items. She did a fantastic job. I would definitely invite her to source with me again. I will say that we have hit the bins another time and I did not have her source for me. She was busy sourcing for herself. But if you guys wanna see Erin source for me again, let me know in the comments. Here's something that she did pick up that you will see in that sourcing video. Um, you guys can let me know, was it a good find or not a good find? All right, uh, we're just going to kind of look through some of the hard goods now. Uh, this video is mostly plush because they brought out that big pile of plush. There are, I think, two additional videos from this day. Um, three, including the one that I mentioned, uh, the haul from Aaron. But, uh, oh wow, I just, my cart was full to the top. Uh, and I'll show you here shortly. You'll see my cart. This is her cart. I was actually shocked at how much stuff she got. Um, honestly, she probably didn't need to source for me. I think she could have kept herself busy buying for herself. I love it. It was so fun. All right. Um, I am going to show you. My, look at my cart. Oh, my goodness. Wait, I'm going to pull back and show you guys. But uh, we're going to keep digging here just because uh, we just have to keep digging. I absolutely love the Goodwill bins. I did pick up these little spoons. Uh, they are, it's just a spoon fork set for a baby. They looked cool. Like I tell you guys in other videos, I always pick up anything that's new old stock. Um, those items, you know, there's always a buyer for something that uh, they need. And we definitely need silverware, correct? 
that wasn't silver, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, that's something a parent is going to be looking for, and they might turn to eBay. All right, we're going to dig a little more here. Again, stay tuned for future Goodwill Benz videos. I have been going a lot and finding amazing stuffs. And check out my what sold videos because then you can see what I am selling these items for. And I will tell you guys in the video where I got the item, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. I um, show you the screen share so you're getting lots of education in my what sold videos. And I do bread and butter, which is my items I th sold for $35 or less. And I also do big money bolos. So if you want to see what I'm selling in my eBay store, you can check those out. I also have the items that I'm selling on Mercari and Poshmark because I do cross post my items with lists perfectly. If you want to check that out, there is a link down in the description that shows you how to do that. And my coupon referral code is Bolo Buddies, and that will get you 30% off your first month. Absolutely love it. I've been using it since 2019. So, all right, we are going to keep looking here. Um, if you don't know, the bubble lights are not allowed on eBay, the ones that bubble. There is my cart. Um, you will get that item removed, and I do have a video about that. In fact, check out my videos where I share with you items that you should not list on eBay um, because of Vero's and policy violations. There are a lot of things being taken down right now, and these are current things taken down, and my Facebook members are sharing those items, so current and relevant. Check those out. All right, we're going to dig a little more, and then I am going to leave you with a tip that I gave Erin that she appreciated, and she's going to tell you why. Uh, can anybody guess what that Goodwill Bins tip is? And if you have a tip for anybody going to the Goodwill Bins, drop it down in the comments. Would love to hear what you guys have for tips for other resellers. I was also very thankful that Courtney recommended I bring gloves. So I had brought garden gloves and Thankfully, I did because we did run into some pretty dangerous items as we were digging through the bins. Okay, this is just some repeat footage. I wanted to end the video here and tell you all, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already and check out some of those other videos that I was talking about. Uh, thanks again, and I'll see you at the next one. Thanks for watching.